Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to install VirtualBox guest editions on your brand new Ubuntu 24.04 Linux operating system. You can see right off the bat that my resolution is incorrect here, which installing VBox is going to help. And there's many other reasons you'd wanna install the VirtualBox guest editions. Things like being able to resize screens dynamically, copying and pasting one of my favorite things between the host computer and the guest computer, dragging and dropping files between the host and guest, having shared folders and way better video drivers, as you can tell here. We can fix this resolution by going to the display settings. Right now, the system isn't picking up on exactly which resolution this is without the drivers, but you can still set them usually. Mine's 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna apply that real quick. That way we can see things. All right, with that set, I'm gonna also set fractional scaling, which will mess things up, don't worry. Again, you can set the two up and apply them. Things should look correct now and we can get started with installing the guest editions. The first thing you'll wanna do in the full screen mode, it's easy to go down here and search for devices. In devices, you'll find an insert guest editions CD image. We're gonna click on that and that will automatically put the image on the computer. Now you can install this through the terminal as well using an app package, but I tend to find this better because this is the latest and greatest version of the guest editions from VirtualBox and it pertains to your version of VirtualBox, which helps. So I'm running version seven so that there's no mismatch because that can happen as well. And if you don't have this option at the bottom, you'll want to right click and explore the settings of your particular machine. You can see here that it's Ubuntu 24.04 and I have all these different portions of the settings. This is on the host computer, of course, but make sure to go down to user interface and then you'll see this thing called mini toolbar and you can hit the show in full screen seamless support. That'll give you access to this mini toolbar at the bottom. Again, you're gonna have to restart things in order to gain access to it. I just find it the easiest way to mount that guest editions CD directly to Ubuntu this way. Anyways, once you've done that, you'll see a CD pop up over on the left-hand side of the desktop and it's called VBox Gas 7. Well, at least for me, it's the version seven of the guest editions. I'm gonna click on this and what's fantastic in Ubuntu 24.04 is it automatically finds the correct file to run. Typically you'd have to do this through a terminal, but what's fantastic here is now Ubuntu associates this software and picks the correct file to run. So it's technically running this VBox Linux editions that run. All we have to do is hit click run software. It's going to say that VBox gas contains software intended to be automatically started. Would you like to run it? Yes, I would. So I hit run, type in my administrative user's password and authenticate. Now we've already ran into our first problem. It says verifying archive integrity, 100% MD5 hash is okay. But the problem here it says it's missing bzip to tar. So we can fix this because there are a few prerequisites that we need in order to actually install the VirtualBox guest editions. So I'll help you install some of these as well. I'm just gonna exit out of this, start a new terminal up and in this terminal, Let's install a few prerequisites. So we'll do sudo apt update first so we get the latest and greatest mirrors. Once we've done that, we'll type in our administrative password and that'll just update the mirrors so we can get the latest and greatest packages. Next, I'm gonna clear things out so we can install more packages and we'll do sudo apt install. We'll need the build essential package, DKMS package, and that should get us started. Let's press enter and it's gonna ask us, do we want to install all these packages? Well, yes, that was the point. So I'm just gonna press enter, that's a default choice. And it's gonna take a moment to install everything from the build essentials in DKMS, which are necessary to install things. Once that's done, we throw them back into the shell. I'm gonna clear things out. And then I'm gonna minimize this because I'm gonna go back to the CD. If you've exited out, just click the CD again. It's gonna say run software and we're gonna retry running things. Again, I'm being asked for the password. I'm gonna put that in and I'm going to try to run this. If for some reason it says it's verifying the integrity, it's going through all the checks this time it's all good but it says the system appears to have a version of virtual box guest editions already installed well that's just because i already ran it once you may or may not get this no big deal if you do get this just type yes so you can continue because this will simply remove the remains of anything left i got software updater here coming up i'm just going to remind it to give me that later i'm just going to press enter with yes and you can see it takes a few moments but then we start to begin installing things again so things are still running here. It might take a few minutes. You can tell that there are things like building the modules for whatever kernel you currently have. Sometimes 
Linux distributions are missing the Linux kernel headers, which you have to install by yourself. You'll want to look up how to do this for your particular system if you're not using Ubuntu. Here, we don't have to worry about it because it does come standard. Well, we're getting close here. As the installer is working in the background, take a moment to subscribe below. YouTube can get finicky and you wouldn't want to miss another video like this. Also, make sure to smash that like button on the way back up. We're almost done installing the VirtualBox guest editions on Ubuntu 24.04. Once things are done, you'll see this press return to close this window. So if we look back through here, we see look at var log vbox add setup.log to find out what went wrong. Well, if I take a look at that file, I will notice that basically there's a mismatch in the tools that were used to compile the kernel versus the tools that are being used to try to compile this VBox installation. Well, it didn't give us many errors there, mainly warnings. So what I'm gonna do is press enter, which will exit me out. And then I'm gonna restart the machine and see if things actually went through. So I'm gonna just simply restart the system real quick. Let's see what happens. All right, and after a login, I'll simply just start a terminal up and then we can check a few things. What am I looking for here? Well, simple, ls mod, and I'm gonna grep for anything that has VBox on it. I do see a few drivers installed, including VBox SF, VBox Guest, and VBox Video, which is fantastic because that does mean things were successfully installed. Now, how can we test this? Well, well, one way is to enable shared clipboard to test this. So you can do host to guest, guest to host, or bidirectional. Now I'm gonna to try to copy and paste, for example, this line over to the host computer just to check if I can actually move stuff around. And that's fairly simple. I'll just start a new sticky note and then do control V. And look at that, I've been able to paste things into my host computer. That's it. I have everything installed like I would expect. The drivers are working. Everything seems to be running correctly. For example, if I wrote something out here, I can copy this instead, go back to this machine and then paste and look at that. I wrote something out. So bidirectionally, things are working. It's a little annoying that we get those warnings and it looks like things failed, but they didn't. This is simply because of a mismatch in the tool chains. It is using the proper version. It's just not using the exact same name of the tool chain that Ubuntu uses. And it throws up what seemingly looks like an error, but it's not. Either way, we've officially installed the guest editions from VBox on Ubuntu 24.04. There are many options you can now use with this installed, including the drag and drop feature, the shared clipboard and the shared folders. Also, this will make your resizing work better and more dynamically on the host computer. Don't forget the improved graphics and acceleration for hardware emulation because of these drivers, all thanks to the VBox guest editions. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe below. You made it to the end of the video. You're a true fan. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to SavvyNick.com now and get access to these sheets.